Well, right. let's just turn to uh, Seven, which of course unveiled its programming for 2013. James, you were there at the launch uh, and you spoke to the, the CEO, Tim Warner, as well. Yeah, he was pretty boyish. He um, appeared on stage a couple of times. He's, um, you know, first first up front, I think, without David Lecky too. So it's, you know, he was he was certainly in control. Rosanna, we had nine new shows they outlined for next year, bar three reality, a bunch of new dramas, some Australian, some international stuff. And of course, they've got plenty of hits to, to bring back in the schedule for our next year. All right, let's have a listen to what you uh, asked him. Tim Warner, we've just seen what you've got to offer uh, the market for 2013. Um, quite a few new shows, and you talked a little bit about the TV model. You're pretty confident it's uh, not broken. Yeah, I am confident it's not broken. Uh, I mean, more than that, I, I think that it's uh, in rude health, and I, and I think it's going to get healthier. Um, you know, I think a lot's been written and said lately that is really dagging uh, free-to-air television almost, almost pigeonholing it, you know, as old media. I just think that's wrong. I think that... Um, I think the complete opposite. I think I think that the combination of the internet, the would-be murderer of television, and television itself it is going to breed opportunities that we haven't even dreamed of yet. And I think that's exciting. I see television as being at the start of a brilliant renaissance, and the internet is going to be the key to that. It's interesting what you said. You said the combination of the internet and, and TV, you'll be the only place to offer a, a big audience. Yeah, I think... Uh, Free-to-air television will be the place where you can mass eyeballs, and that will always be our priority, to get big audiences, um, and then it's what we do with them after that, and that's all ahead of us. Um, you know, we're in the first phase now of a long-term plan. Um, we've already rolled out Fango, and we've seen uh, the action with that over 550,000 downloads. And the possibilities are endless, and we want to get on with it. We want to be first. We've got to keep coming up with uh, new and better ways to serve our customers. And, and there's, there's a huge realm of possibilities there. The latest trigger for, uh, I guess, commentary about the sort of uh, future of TV was Homeland getting a, a smaller audience than expected on Sunday night. But I, I would imagine that's just a one-off uh, situation. It doesn't sort of necessarily mean that uh, that sort of can be applied across uh, all TV. James, you know I don't bag the opposition. I never have, no. and, and I'm not about to start now. Um, I do think that, you know, we are seeing an anomalous situation at the moment in that one network is, as I sort of alluded to in the presentation, a network in space. And when you're a network in space, no one can hear you scream. Um, but, you know, I, I'm confident that at some point that will be sorted out and, uh, you know, we'll see... Uh, a semblance of more normal behaviour in the market. Certainly we want that. I mean, it, it's bad for us to have the current situation. I think it's bad for the industry. Um, and, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing it sorted out, that they can take all their share from nine. Sure. The, um, just talk about some of the shows. Uh, House Rules, that looks like it'll be one of your big ones for next year. Yeah, I mean, um, we've had tremendous success with My Kitchen Rules. It's grown uh, each series that we've done. So it was obvious that we were going to look to what else we could do with that sort of a competition, that sort of a format. Uh, and design and renovation is obviously a touch point uh, for us. It's also extremely advertiser friendly. So it was probably the natural territory for us to take that sort of a show. It's a very, very big show. You have to hand over the keys of uh, your own house to not just someone else, but one of your competitors. But we've found a bunch of people crazy enough to do that and uh, the show's in production and looking very, very promising. Is it a big investment? Because we've seen that sort of go pear shape for people in the past. They bet a lot on a, on a format, spend up big on it and it doesn't quite pan out. To how big a risk is it for you guys? Well, I mean, everything's a risk. I mean, it, if we don't take a risk, um, you know, the risk is we're ignored. And that's the biggest risk of all that we can take. But... No, I think we've got a pretty good track record in uh, placing bets, in placing big bets. We haven't had too many um, ginormous stinkers, mm. and we aim to keep that record intact. Some of the other interesting things, a place called home, and Mrs Biggs looks uh, pretty interesting too. Mrs Biggs is really well made from a guy called Jeff Pope, who's a fantastic showmaker. Um, a lot of that story takes place here in Australia, a surprising amount of it actually. Um, so that will play like an Australian drama, um, it's a short run, but it's a nice run. A place to call home is obviously something we're very proud of. 
Uh, it's been a long time in the making. We don't rush our drama at seven. We take our time and there's a reason for that. But, you know, we're very excited with what we've seen. I think one of the great things about that show is there's a bunch of kids in that show who haven't done any television before and they're going to get their chance and that, that's a really exciting thing for us at Seven to give kids like that the chance and you know again we've got a pretty good record with uh, that, that sort of uh, cast. And you're bringing back the mole. Yeah, that's we are bringing back the, the mole with a bit of a brave new twist in the way that we cast it. Um, you know we've recognised that uh, there are sort of divided opinions in society at the moment and we're going to cast it along those lines. The Mole has always been a very solid performer for us uh, in terms of demographics. Um, and we see that this twist, this new approach to it, has got the chance to take it even to another level. Now, you're usually pretty protective of your schedule, but you actually flashed it up on screen tonight. It wasn't quite there long enough for me to take a photo of it with me. I saw a few people get their cameras out and try. They might be disappointed. I mean, it's always, as you know, uh, subject to review. And, you know, we, ha we had a session... Uh, just recently where we went through most of uh, next year but we're having another session shortly and I can tell there's a few things that'll probably change. The more you see of the product that you're getting the, the more firm your plans become. I saw uh, there was no real mention of Australia's Got Talent but it flashed up on uh, there was a bit of uh, footage of it will you give that another another I'd crack next year? I'd definitely like to do Australia's Got Talent. I'd like to do every show that we've done in the last four or five years because we've had such a good run. I'd like to do them all again. Stay with us. More from the 7 program launch coming up and also the winners from the Radio Awards.